The Pentagon releasing new video this morning that they say shows Russian military jets interfering with the U.S. surveillance drone in international waters before colliding with the unmanned aircraft over the Black Sea. The footage directly contradicts Russia's claims about what happened as the U.S. races to recover the downed drone. Justin Finch reports. The Pentagon has released this dramatic video they say captures Russian military jets interfering with the U.S. Reaper drone moments before one of the jets physically strikes the unmanned surveillance aircraft. The footage appears to show Russian warplanes spraying fuel on the drone multiple times before one of the fighter jets comes in vertically at high speed, then collides with the drone's rear propeller. The footage breaks up, but when it returns, the drone's propeller is visibly damaged. The drone then plunging into the Black Sea, Russia and the U.S. attempting to recover what's left of it. It probably broke up. We are quite confident that whatever uh, whatever was of value is no longer of value. U.S. defense officials say Russian ships are combing the area and that crews may already have parts of it, though officials maintain they were able to wipe sensitive information from the $30 million drone. The incident prompting a rare call between Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and his Russian counterpart, their first since October amid tensions in Ukraine. Austin calling the drone interception reckless. It is incumbent upon Russia to operate his military aircraft in a safe and professional manner. Before the release of the footage, Russia's defense ministry claimed the drone had been maneuvering sharply and lost control, and that his fighter jets never made contact with it. They continue to deny there was any contact even after the release of the Pentagon video. And the Pentagon has called this incident part of a recent pattern of aggressive behavior by Russian pilots, and they want to know why. As for that drone, U.S. officials say even if the Russians find a large portion of it, they would only recover little to no intelligence. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.